Greetings everyone, it's Alex again, and I'm at the top here the, today because I wanted to react something, react to react to something and actually give us all an idea again on how we can actually enjoy Diablo 4 or again, I guess, or any ARPG for that matter, or even any game really. Because here's a key thing he mentioned in this was a video uh, with Talkative Try, um, a huge difference between Diablo 4 and Perfect Side 2, right? How it's developed. And he, he made a good point in there that had me think about something and realize about something. First of all, you know, actually, let's just listen to it and then I'm going to um, say something to it. So let's listen to what they have to say. But differently, beginning in their alpha phases. Diablo 4 was in progress for quite some time. Diablo 3 didn't really pan out. It launched, it had one expansion and not many content updates after that. It was not a competitor to Path of Exile 1 in terms of the amount of content that it actually brought into the game. So correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't, okay, Diablo 3 was poorly received on launch, but I believe wasn't Path of Exile the sort of the same thing. And then the Diablo 3 expansion was actually quite good Reaper of Souls. This is one of the things that when I played Diablo 3, I was omega casual with Diablo. Like I would, I literally played it on a controller blasting the whirlwind barb while i'm taking like phone calls when i worked in the call center i was i was like mega casual and i thought that the game was good when it launched i actually wasn't in the like youtube space i wasn't reading reddit all i did was go to work i was working uh at, at the call center but also that was later on with the expansion previously when they had launched like on launch day i was actually working at best buy so I had two different experiences with me playing the game throughout the history of its time. One, I kind of came back to it when I was in the call center. And then when it launched, I was actually working at Best Buy. And everyone there was just having a good time. This is part of the reason when I talk about, and when I was talking about Diablo 4, like on launch and kind of talking about games just in general, I remember back to these days of being completely disconnected from like the talk about the game. Cause everyone talks about this now about how Diablo three, like had huge issues on launch and was poorly received and all that. But like, I didn't get any of that at all. Cause I wasn't reading feedback. I wasn't watching videos. I was just playing the game, like just straight up playing the game. I was like, oh, this game's fun. Like I just literally had none of the problems. I had some of the errors codes or whatnot, but I didn't have any of the problems related to the actual game. When I cover games now, I try to like look back and remember the days of when I was completely disconnected from like the hub, hubaloo, hubabub. I don't know how you say that, right? Hullabaloo of, of games and just remember just playing the game and, and, and not just sitting on threads and stuff talking about it. So um, for me, I had kind of a different experience than Diablo 3, but I hear this all the time that Diablo 3 had like Omega issues on launch. And so this is actually a key point he mentioned uh, before we go in there, because I felt exactly the same with Diablo 4 recently for the simple reason. But again, he recently reacted to a video of mine where all of you actually completely trashed me and rightly so, right? Um, if we look at the, the video, actually this one, right, where I said our stream was ruining RPG games like Diablo 4 and Last Epoch. It's currently my worst, <laughs> worst received video with only 70% positive likes and almost 200 comments talking shit. Rightly so. You guys were correct. First of all, it was a, a very bad clickbait. And also I made some points that didn't even hold. So I'm not trying to go down the whole casual player route again with this. But he made an interesting point. Because he said he felt completely disconnected from everyone who was talking badly about the game at the time about Diablo 3. I actually was exactly the same. I was playing Diablo 3. I enjoyed it a lot. Even played the um, expansion with my wife on the PlayStation. Had a lot of fun with it. It was all cool. But everyone was talking shit on Diablo 3. And I had the exact same feeling when I started Diablo 4. You guys know I only started Diablo 4 on Season 4. I did not play the game before that. I just recently started it. And I had an absolute blast with the game. Now, there's, there's two things that come from this. And I learned from you guys, really. One is, if I think back to Diablo 3, though. Absolutely. I played the game. And then it just vanished. I never touched it ever again after the campaign. So I was the complete casual players you guys are talking about, or we're talking about in the other video. So the question I want to kind of ask is, the more we, the more time we put into one game, right? And like even surroundings of it, like not, not streamers at all, right? But like um, looking up Reddit or how the game's received and YouTube and all that. Does that actually take fun away from the game a little bit? 
And I'm not um, suggesting that we don't look at this all. There are things that need to be addressed that make the game better, especially for guys who play it all the time, which I am, right? I have 400 hours in last epoch. I know the end game of these games, even though I didn't play D4 much, but I get it. But the point is, if you go into a new season, for example, this is what I would suggest to you guys. New season, next season 5 is coming, or even the expansion. Because bias is a hell of a drug, right? We know this. If you are biased towards a certain outcome, it's very, very tough to convince your mind to think differently about it. It's very tough. It needs a lot of effort. It's even the same thing, you know, when um, there's a score in relationships. When your partner does something bad to you once, it takes about a hundred positive things before you sort of bring this back, right? They're, it's not a 50-50. It doesn't do they, It's not that they want do one thing bad and one thing good, and then it's all leveled again. They need to do a lot more good things for you to feel the same level about them as you did before the bad thing, right? This is what psychologists say, even though I have my, my theory about psychologists but, and therapy, but that's a different point. But if we think about it, if we can ourselves sort of mentally pull out, pull out, right? Next time we play a, a new season, or a new cycle, or Perfect Exile, Less Epoch, Diablo, whatever it is, a new patch even that just adds some new things. What if we just look at it from an elevated perspective on how, not just, not if the game is so much better now than it was before because D4 is still bad, but if it's actually fun to play. Because as I said, my experience was completely different playing Diablo 4. I had an absolute blast in Season 4. If I had played the game from launch, well, you guys rightly said there was no in-game, there was nothing to do, a bunch of issues, and most people now actually say in Season 4 that it is actually good, but I still hear a lot of people saying that D4 sucks, like Quinn, for example. <laughs> um, but that different perspective, just from when you actually got into the game, that should be enough reason, in my eyes, to think, okay, maybe it's actually not the game so much, even though there are, of course, things that are wrong, but there is, or let's say there's a 50-50 the game, but also a 50% how I approach the game. Or you in this case, right? Do I go into the new season already expecting, okay, D4 sucks, what did they actually do to make it better? Or with the mindset of, okay, what is actually happening? Let's just have fun with the game, what is new, let's just explore things. Like some sort of adventurer mindset, right? I don't have a huge point to this video. Um, I hope you don't trash me again in the comments. Uh, DM is probably not going to react to it or any of the streamers. That's fine. Just any one of my audience. What do you think? How much your own mindset actually plays a role in how you approach the games you are so passionate about? And I get it. Right? We are passionate about these games. Changes that make things worse, like Druid getting consistently nerfed, even though it's already not good. <laughs> because Blizzard apparently just hates Druids. Same in last epoch, by the way. Druid is still not very good. Um, maybe Perfect or 2 will fix that. But if we just pull ourselves out of that a little bit, right? And just think about how we approach the game, approach it with a more positive mindset, even an open mindset, and not straight from the beginning think, okay, this all sucks. I had the same thing with last epoch recently because initially I thought that the Nemesis system looked a little bit lacking. It didn't really do much. Then I tried to, okay, let's just look at what it actually does when I play the game and not just from reading the patch notes. I played it, it's actually a lot of fun, it gives you some great items. They're not insane, but this is a nice sort of cool addition to the game that gives you an extra challenge while just playing or grinding through the monoliths. So I would, I wanna, I don't wanna really make a huge point here. I just wanna sort of give an incentive to think about things differently, not just ignore issues, right? That's a very unhealthy thing for a relationship, but think about your relationship to the game as a relationship and what the other person is actually doing or the other the devs in this case trying to make your experience better or if you are going in already biased that you fucking hate what they did in the past and they are assholes and this already ruins your enjoyment before you even do anything maybe maybe i'm completely wrong again and i will be trash in the comments who knows um, but I thought this was an interesting point. He made it that he had the exact same experience with D3 that I had with D4 in Season 4. That I had an absolute blast with the game. It was super fun. And at that point, even more so than Last Epoch, even though I streamed Last Epoch mostly. So that was actually very interesting to me. So let me think what you think of that. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next next video. Goodbye.